trying to get busy with all these cars now. Oh, hey there, everybody. Old pal Jonathan Baker here. And right now it is 8.04. This Monday morning. The rain has finally stopped. And that is really nice. The rain has stopped. I guess I just sit down for... I know a few moments just to set my camera down and stuff. Oh. Whoa. One of the biggest wrenches I have ever seen before. Looked like somebody did a shrink ray on there actually this is called a a huge ratchet one of the biggest wrenches there are also small wrenches Good for any sizable lug nut. It's about this size in diameter. If you grab another one, but a small one, which I think we have one somewhere. basically like this but that's not a uh, one of those <laughs> makes a funny noise um, it's uh, Go ahead and take a look at these bug nut bolts. Because usually, needle nose pliers, really good for wires. Showing you basic tools. Oh, wait a minute. Well, we're just yeah. Now this is a huge size ratchet. One of the biggest ones. You also got the small ratchets. It takes a while to open one of these. You just have to use your thumb. Or actually, both your fingers. Now the opening in there. Oh, now, closing this, the deal actually has to move. a huge size wrench or ratchet whatever you want to call it looks like somebody duplicated a small ratchet to a big ratchet <laughs> just kidding it sure does look big like somebody just put it to a big size oh well pretty good as you may know, the rain has stopped already. And 
or right now it's just cloudy right now not so much going on right now just it's not busy right at the moment but we tend to get busy later we are short on cart attendants today so that stinks yep just can't can't believe that we already have two people already over hours not able to work when you're over those 40 hours believe me and if you do work for Sam's Club Walmart or any other other place that has those kind of hours then you know what it's like what is that Well, it's kind of hard. Spent three whole days without Duncan. And it really has been heartbreaking to see that this happened. I felt sad the night that they terminated him and I felt like they abandoned him and it reminds me of my last job. My last job, they abandoned me. They they told me they didn't need me no more. Until I found a job with Sam's Club who desperately needs me. They know how hard I work. They know I can do this job really, really, really well. Now the fact of the matter is, I don't get none of this. Why did this happen? This is something to think about. I felt down for the past few days because I've been thinking about this. And to tell you one thing, it it's not easy to lose a hard worker. You can't I mean, it's it's hard. It is really hard to see something like this and it really is Duncan and I we've been here together for nearly three years To lose a hard worker like him, it was hard. I felt like they... They said that they didn't need him anymore. and They got rid of him the easy way. How can you run a business that way? to fire one of your best workers that has worked for a company for three years that just doesn't make any sense management could do whatever they think is right but firing those that need a good job All of us have to need a job. We got to take care of ourselves somehow. 
We can't just go off into this world jobless. We can't do that. Because we have bills to pay. And we need food for survival. And that's basically all there is. Just to take care of yourself and your family and the responsibilities that all of us have while we are here on this earth. Don't forget to uh, put a link in the description below. Put a like on this video if you like it. And subscribe to my channel, Jonathan Baker. And always remember to keep on rocking.